Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Fort Prairie, an Alberta-themed city. Welcome back to the channel. Last episode, we did a speed build where we built a, a new uh, a new interchange off of the downtown expressway. We also did some, some planning into what the road networks are going to look like downtown. And, uh, you know, I'm really pleased with, with how this interchange turned out. It's like a custom cloverleaf. We'll, we'll go take a look at it. Uh, before this episode starts. Uh, but what's going to happen in today's episode? Well, we are going to do a couple things. Uh, some traffic management, actually. Um, and then we're going to build a high school. And I also want to kind of start the farm uh, out this way, actually, where we are right now. Right by the grain elevator, which we see. Um, so, yeah, those are the three things I really want to do today. I think we're going to start with the traffic management because I think that'll have a long-term effect on the city. And then it may also lead into other fixes we need to do next week or Friday. Um, so uh, yeah, if, if it's a bit echoey in here, like in the, in the video, uh, it's because I'm painting my office right now. And uh, all, the only furniture that's in here is my desk, my computers, and uh, my, my office chair. So if it's a bit echoey. It'll only be this way for today's episode and tomorrow or Friday's episode. Uh, anyway, so let's hop out and take a look at kind of what I'm what I'm talking about with the traffic. So we have some backup along Hamilton Street right here, which, you know, it is not it, which is to be expected. Um, we also have traffic up over here by the bridge, which is, you know, also to be suspected or expected uh, because this bridge is the only way across for trucks until we get to over here. So there is a long difference between them. So a lot of the trucks are going to this cargo station, which we placed down here. So a lot of the trucks are coming from this industry pocket, going down into here, into the cargo area. And then they're also coming from the farm and bringing goods all the way across and into uh, the flour mill area in the bakery. So we need to develop a way to get cars into this area by going underneath or over top of the rail. Now we, we're doing a really good job with pedestrians with, you know, this, this crossing right here, it's stealing a lot of pedestrians. And, you know, an end result of last time we were here is we really cut down the amount of pedestrians walking across this sidewalk here, um, which is very good to see. Um, but I'm thinking a tunnel. Now people have also recommended this as well. Now I've just been debating on which roads to link up. So I was thinking this road system would be good, but then I realized there's already a lot of heavy traffic on this road. So maybe we might want to split it to this road, but then we're, you know, we're getting into the residential. I think this one would be my preferred road, Sunset Street, because it goes right into the farm and cars could just stay straight, come on, go on down, but then we're into a residential area. So what's really the solution here? Well, we have a couple options. What we could do is we could do that tunnel cut it off right here and go on an angle and come back up over here. We could do it from this road into this road here as well. Um, I think that's a, that's a good one because there's not a ton of traffic that runs through here, but then again, there's also not a ton of traffic that runs along sunset. I think sunset would be the more logical solution, but then I think we're probably going to be able pro we're probably going to be getting rid of this right here. So, yeah, it's a bit difficult to, to kind of decide here. I, I I was coming to today's video looking at this one. This is a one-way street. Uh, if we look at our roads here. Whoa. Uh, which I don't know if I showed this last time. Uh, I made these one ways because we're really helping the traffic flow. So we also have this park that we could get rid of and uh, incorporate that into the, the for the tunnel. Um, seeing as a lot of the traffic wants to come into here, what we could do is we could link up into this road as a tunnel, go underneath the ground, and then come back up along Sunset here. That could definitely be a solution. This is a one way, so what we would be doing is we'd be stopping them right here. They can choose whichever direction they want to go, which would then mean that this road would get blocked up with some traffic. Um, but, c'est la vie. So yeah, I think I think the park's probably the, the the best option to kind of appropriate for this. So let's pause the game, let's delete the park, 
And I think we'll put a park back with whatever's left over. So let's, I think we'll kind of have to. Anyways, oh no, I got rid of some of the trees. Some of these young linden trees. There we go. Yeah, so I think that's probably a good option. We, we could connect down into Beach Street here, but I think connecting down into here is probably a good option. So we'll kind of have a bit of a slight curve and we'll come up and we'll go right into here where this road is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete it. We're gonna delete these buildings because they front onto it. We'll let the game resume. Whoa. Uh, let's just take out this. And what we'll do is we'll also just make sure that they come in clean right here. Okay, very nice. Then we're probably gonna run with a two lane road here. Or four lane, I guess. Two lanes each way. Um, and first of all, let's probably upgrade this. Pause the game while I do this. Right into here like that. Here we go, we'll come back and we'll tweak some things afterwards. Um, now what we'll do is we'll go back to our straight road, we'll go tunnel, we'll connect into there, and I'm just gonna go page down to about, I don't know, 12 meters I think might be good. And then what I'll do is I'll just go right past the, the node here. I did turn node snapping off. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing from here. So we'll come come out this way. Oh, no, it's nothing. Okay, there we go. That would do it, wouldn't it? <laughs> uh, and then we'll come back down 12 meters to about here. Fantastic. And then we'll just do a very simple curve. Let's turn node snapping back on. That would probably be good, wouldn't it? All right, there we go. Now, it doesn't look like that actually connected up. Maybe. Ah, yeah, okay, cars are coming through it. Let's make sure that this node actually connected up because I don't think I actually did node snapping for that node. Nice, okay, so that's that's working pretty nicely. So we're just gonna go back down into the tunnel mode, actually. <clears throat> yeah, sorry about, uh, I'm gonna try not to, to cough <laughs> as much as I can in these videos, but uh, if I do, I'll try to mute them. Um, all right, so I'm just watching the concrete part of the tunnel just north or just above my uh, green node here. I'm just gonna try to get it right to the edge like so. Uh, I guess that's the sidewalk, isn't it? So we'll go back down into tunnel mode and we'll need to free the sidewalk. Okay, that's probably good. All right. So if we grab this, I think maybe if we just go page down a little bit, we might get it to blend in a little bit nicer. Hmm, not really. Actually, I don't mind it being slightly elevated. So long as, you know, this, this isn't the most realistic, but I think it's a good function. Oh, okay, we're starting to bleed through the ground there. So I think we'll leave it at that. Let's come over to this one again. And we'll do the same thing. We'll elevate it until we start getting some weird glitching. It might be tricky for you to see, but the glitching was happening right here along the sidewalk. Yeah, there we go. I think that looks pretty cool, actually. I don't think it's the uh, the least... I don't think it's like a totally not realistic thing to do. Um, and look at Sunset Tunnel. So that means Sunset Street continues all the way along. So if we click Sunset Street, go here like that, and now Sunset comes all the way down into here. Which is nice. So sunset goes all the way out into the farmlands. Fantastic. Okay, so with that in mind, I think we're gonna need to upgrade some of these other roads then. So let's go. Yeah, there we go. Upgrade all the roads around it. Yeah, I think that should be good. And look at this. A lot of the traffic's already flowing through here. I'm gonna come right out into a one way. So what if we, I suspect a lot of the traffic is going to want to turn uh, left here. So if we go into our traffic manager, we just do some dedicated turning lanes. This way we have some, you know, nice dedicated systems here. Uh, let's go with a yield sign here and then maybe a traffic light here along the tunnel. Um, if we go over here, we have yield. Okay, that's nice. It's yield on this side. Oh, 
Okay, we're good. Then we're over here. We have a light right here. This, I don't want. Ah, there's so many lights, aren't there? That's okay. I, I don't suspect the lights are going to be too, too crazy. I'm going to try to not do time traffic lights until like a dedicated video on the matter. Um, let's go yield. Like a, a like a full dedicated... Oh, no, we should have yield on these sides. Like a full dedicated transit fix video. All right. So we're just going to put yields on them instead for now. This should... Uh, get traffic flowing in an adequate manner. So we have two lights on here, and these lights are going to be pretty helpful. Although we'll, we'll have to wait and see for uh, for these actually, because I'm not sure how many cars are going to divert off of Mackenzie Avenue right here. So you know what? We'll throw it at three speed, and we'll just kind of let the sim play out for a little bit. And uh, let's check out what's going on over here. Okay, so it looks like this building is going to need to be destroyed. And yeah, you know, that's fine. We could probably squeeze some path pedestrian pathways through here, but I don't think it's the end of the world if we don't. But let's uh, let's let's try it out. I'm going to turn collision off while I'm doing this. And let's uh, go home. Oh, I didn't turn collision off. There we go. Just on either side. It also helps, uh, you know, fill in the concrete and stuff. So we can also, because this is an industrial area, we could easily just do something like this around it. And uh, there we go. Okay, so if we come back over here. Yeah, look at this. Oh, wow. Lots of uh, lots of traffic using the tunnel. But at least uh, it's freeing up Hamilton, it looks like, which is nice. And uh, the bridge. I really want to keep this bridge as long as we can. Um, I really like the style of the old bridge here. But if we can't, then we'll have to upgrade it at some point. Okay, so... Uh, do, do, do. let's go back to the parks here. It's too big. Okay, nice. I'm glad we can still squeeze this park in. Alrighty, and then what we'll do is I'll just grab the dirt path and we'll just kind of finish off some of these connections. Very nice. And then we'll run just a very simple path right across like so. And actually, let's make this one um, the zoo path. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. It's kind of like a bit of a parkette in a way. So I'm just going to drag this out right to the end like that. So it kind of flows really nicely together. And then we'll use some of our our larger trees with a live oak right here. And someone was asking me recently in the comments, how did I do that? Well, I think it came with the patch with the airport DLC uh, that allows you to change the trees on uh, the path. Um, I don't think you need the airport DLC to do that, but, uh, if you know better than I do, please write it in the comments. Um, okay, so let's just, yeah, let's bump this out to about here. And we'll bring this over. We'll run this right to here. Just kind of surrounding the tunnel a little bit. There we go. All right. So a little bit of a parkette. We've got an actual park here, which is going to help with the land value. And uh, wow, this is uh, really flowing. So Willow Street here goes all the way down to this road here. Okay, so it's not one of the major streets. All right, fantastic. So um, we're just going to let this kind of play out for a little bit. We've got all these cars to do a couple of their cycles. Um, but it looks like traffic is pretty backed up already um, which is interesting um, but you know honestly I prefer the traffic come through Sunset Street here than uh, around in this major intersection here and then clogging up this part of Hamilton where we need traffic to flow for um, goods and stuff and we also have trucks being able to use this road which is gonna be nice um, Though it looks like they're going into this. I thought we had put them on the other side of it. Where's the spawn point? It's on that road. Okay, where's the spawn point on this one? It's on. Okay, so it looks like we split it up. Probably not adequately, adequately enough, so I'm going to need to upgrade this road as well to a four lane road. 
And then what we'll do is we'll go in traffic manager and then right here I'll do um, Yeah, okay, that's perfect Actually, so All right So we have one on this side and two on the other side. I actually want to flip that Depending on how much traffic comes through here, but uh, anyways, I'm getting distracted just waiting and watching traffic. Um, I don't think I did dedicated lanes on here, so let's actually make sure we do that. Uh, doesn't that's not necessary here, not necessary here. Okay, so that was step one. Uh, step two is um, looking at our demands here. We have a ton of industry demand, um, which is going to play into the farm. We also have a slight bit of residential and high school demand. So I believe our budget <clears throat> is already at max for education. Yeah, so what we're gonna do is we're going to look into getting another high school. So I've been planning this area for the high school for a little while. Um, Greenberg might also get a high school, but we already have a high school on this side. Uh, I kind of think this high school over here is gonna get all the school buses from you know Brownsville and future towns. I don't, I'm not just, I'm just shaking my mouse everywhere because I don't really have a plan for the future towns yet. But uh, I want to run the high school off of Cooper Street here. So we're going to run with the European high school again. Um, and I guess what we can do, so we have a couple options here. We could put the high school right on the corner of the street, which, you know, wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. It gives us lots of space over, um, uh, you know for you know sports stadiums or something like that we could put it on Davies Street and then it opens up a little bit along Cooper there or what we could do is we could you know put a road off of Cooper and then it would be facing like this which wouldn't be the worst idea in the world and we have the parks kind of facing the neighborhood so why don't we try that try that one first so let's grab this road here and let's turn collision on Let's turn collision off. <laughs> Guidelines on. And we'll just run this down to about here. And we'll connect it up. Just for a bit of through traffic. I don't suspect many people will use it. So, And I really don't want trucks to use it though. So before we get too far, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this piece. Doesn't really matter what piece of road you choose. We'll say no trucks. Um, and then this way we can get the high school. Uh, high school right off in here like so yeah I kind of like this idea oh you know I didn't look at the topography so we are on a bit of a hill it's not the worst thing in the world let's just grab the high school we'll put it to this height we'll see what that looks like it shifts down Okay, so maybe not that height. Maybe we'll just bump it up a little bit manually. Just enough so there's a little bit less glitching. All right, very nice. So um, now we're going to use this part for parking lots for the school. Uh, so we do have some parking assets. I type in parking. I think I should be able to pull them up. Yeah, here we go. 5x2, um, 5x3. I think this one works. Uh, will there be a corner shop though? I think over on this side we'll get a couple shops. So let's plop these down. Let's start with that one. And then we'll move. Leave it a bit of space. I'll fill this whole thing in with concrete. And should we have gone something like this? No, it's too big. Okay, now we're good there like that. We'll detail it and then we'll click Z here and we'll take zoning off of this road and this way we can get a couple of these corner shops you know, we'll bring it all the way right up to there then we'll just use uh, some of the basic paths now why this path in particular well uh, this path blends really well with the surface painter so let's just put it right here like so and we already have a path over on this side but I'll just add a second one in. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab a fence. We'll go with the basic park fence. Um, and we're just gonna surround the parking lot 
with it. And uh, yeah, okay. The cars can park in here. They can come in on this side and park. So them, I don't. I, I think the parking lot is an, is a, is a fine asset. Um, it's more about the, the looks of it, right? Okay, so we'll just fill this all up. Oh, this Burger Town, or whatever it's called, would get a ton of money right beside the high school, wouldn't it? All right. When I was in high school, I would have just freaking loved having a burger shop right there. And we got another burger shop over here. Let's uh, let's delete this one, and let's see what we uh, what else we get. But I'm gonna make this one historical because I love that. All right. So, anyways, that's the the first part of it. Um, looks like there's a dumpster over here. So, if we were to play with the asset asset a little bit, uh, we would probably split the garbage. Go like this. Yeah, we take the garbage truck and uh, we could add in a second building spawn point. Oh, oh, wrong, wrong thing. Um, is it this one? Oh, geez, holy cow. Okay, uh, vehicle type. Let's go with garbage truck, and then we'll take garbage truck off of this one. And then what we need to do. Where is it? Ah. Okay, so we'll bring the garbage trucks and they'll spawn in right over here. And then we'll move this one a bit farther over. This is not necessary at all when doing a high school build, but I think it's fun. All right, so um, now let's get uh, some of these sports uh, items in. So we'll go into the parks tab. And if we look at the land value in this area, actually, before we go ahead, it's like a dark blue. So, you know, it's just average land value. And then it goes into white, which is low. So by adding in these parks, it's going to really increase the land value. So I'm going to start off with uh, soccer, I think. Hmm. I think baseball would be a better option here. Uh, I think we're gonna actually need to bring a road through so let's go into our one unit roads and we'll just grab this one and We'll go road guidelines collision Let's bring it uh, bring it to about here for now and Yeah, so if we grab the baseball nothing's gonna really fit in this area is it at least nothing uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna work but I definitely think baseball can work, especially if we bring it out to about here. And unfortunately, I don't think we could get two. We might be able to. <laughs> get two. No, I think we'll just stick with one, though. Um, the soccer. Should we even really get the soccer? What we could do is we could grab... Uh, this road And then right here we'll bring it over like that and then what we'll do is we'll delete this and Then we'll grab the soccer field Something like something like this maybe Yeah, okay, so let's just uh, because of the terrain heights, let's just make sure that they're all at the same height so we'll grab that, and then we'll grab the soccer field here, or the baseball field. Make sure that it's at the same height. Fantastic. Let's uh, grab this road. We're going to bring it right to the end. And uh, you know what? Let's just grab all these nodes. We'll say get to the same height as, as this. We're already there. Okay, fantastic. Um, all right, so we have a couple more uh, items I want to throw into this high school build. So we got the the urban hockey rink. Um, I think this asset is really good for kind of transitioning the high school. So we'll do that uh, mainly because it comes with some um, some paths. Holy cow, that's the word. Uh, and then we're gonna have a bunch of basketball courts down in here. But I think we can probably just get away with maybe two right here like that. And then if we go into just the basic parks here, 
Let's grab this large park and we'll plot this down like so. And I think now we kind of have the basics for detailing this park up a little bit now. So now let's go back into move it. This is gonna be our, our friend here. We'll say get to that height. And then we'll also say to get to that height. All right, there we go. Let's actually make it a bit lower. And we'll say get to the same height. There we go, very glad it actually worked. And uh, yeah, so now let's bring in some of these paths. So we'll just, we'll just go just with the concrete paths here. And let's uh, turn our guidelines off. And what we'll do is we'll just bring this run right across like that through the asset itself of the high school. And then we'll do the same kind of thing. Just try to bring it right through the concrete parts of the asset so that it looks like um, people will, will actually be walking through it. Let's turn bending off. Turn snapping off. Oh, snapping off. There we go. Let's turn collision off. Just really want uh, <laughs> a second path right through there. And then let's grab this path. We'll connect it up. Like so, I'm just gonna grab move it here. Alrighty, and then let's grab uh, like a dirt path actually. And we'll go from here and we'll connect it up just like that. And then we'll also just connect from here down. And I don't know how that's gonna look. Yeah, that's fine. And then right from here, let's do a bit of like a meandering path right in like that. Fantastic. Okay, so just a bit of fence detailing will go a long way here. So let's just grab the basic park fence and we'll just kind of do that. And then we'll also go right along the border right here of the park. Alrighty. So we got the parking for the high school. Um, this I think we'll leave open for like uh, some development. Over on this side, I think maybe we can get a bit of a parking lot. So if we go, it's a bit too big maybe. Hmm. Let's try this one out. No, it doesn't really work out. Hmm. Okay, this one might work if we level the terrain out a little bit. So let's just do that really quickly. Whoa, undo that. <laughs> Holy moly, that was crazy. <laughs> All right, so let's just try this out a little bit. Come on, I grab the asset and say get to that height. No, it's terrain forming. So let's just try. Let's try this height. <laughs> Come on, there we go. All right, that, that's kind of working. And uh, we'll just smooth everything out like here like this and then we'll go back to the fences as well because i think uh we'll try to keep people off of this weird slope thing that we got going on and we'll bring it all the way down to about this point here and we'll bring this right in like so yeah that works and uh Let's add in some, some paths. Let's actually delete this part of the fence and we'll come back through it. But I just want to add in a couple of dirt paths that people have kind of walked uh, through. So we'll go right through this the baseball asset here like that. And then we'll just grab this node and we'll just extend it just beyond here. And we'll grab the, park at, or the path asset here and we'll just bring it right down. And we'll do the same thing from here to this side. Fantastic. All right, and then we'll go back to the fence here. We'll just bring this right across. All right, so let's go into our forest brush. We're in the Alberta brush, nice. Whoa, that is a lot of trees. Uh, I suspect I have collision off. Yeah, there we go. And uh, it's still really strong, so I'll just turn it down. 
<laughs> Even then, that's, that's a lot. Add in a couple of these trees in here. All right, very cool. That's a pretty big, uh, big high school campus here, but um, I think it uh, turned out pretty nicely. We got like a, a cram burger. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a that's a fine, uh, fine asset. Um, so we'll run some commercial along here, still, just like so. Uh, maybe we'll stick with the theme of using the only uh, three by three kind of uh, buildings. And then we'll run another path here in like so and then we'll just do a bit more fence detailing so we'll turn off our guidelines again yeah i think that's gonna be fine actually let's uh let's bring the fence a bit tighter into the assets like so and then that way we can uh, grab say like this tree right here I'll bring it all the way across just like so oh let's get a couple more of these here and I think we're gonna need another fence along this part of the uh, soccer field here All right. Yeah, there we go, that works. I think we're gonna need just another fence right through here though. Yep, yeah, and then we'll just get uh, a bit of concrete. Hopefully this doesn't mess too much up. It's right in here. Yeah, that works, that works. All right, yeah, you know, I'm pretty pleased with this. And then, then this leaves uh, this space open here. And what were we gonna do with this space? Well, I think this was gonna be a bit of an industry zone. But if we look at the land value now, I think there's a bit more green in here. I think we'll give it some time though to kind of catch up. Um, but I think uh, I think right through here, this is a good space for maybe even a couple warehouses uh, should we need to in the future. So I might just leave this open Yeah, maybe. Because we don't have any factories in here at the moment, but perhaps once we get some factories over here, having this space over like, open for a couple of warehouses off of like a bump out, like a, we'll, we'll bring a road in right here and then we'll bump out the road like this. We'll get the warehouses on this side. That might be good. And this was a good use of the space to, to kind of help transition that area. Um, Okay, yeah, so that, that's, that's pretty good. I'm really pleased with that. Um, so I know we said we're gonna do the farm next. However, I do see that we have some um, uh, residential demand. Now I was thinking when, we were, when I was building this up off camera, which was our little story of why the road changes grids. So these buildings didn't wanna sell their land to the railway. Um, so I was thinking that maybe what we should do is we should also squeeze in some housing in here. This is a pretty, this is a lot of land, and I think that any developer would probably try and get some housing in in here. So we got some some available slots right here by this bus stop, especially. Um, but I think what we could do is we could even just bring it out off this road. We could kind of follow some contour lines, and we'll swing down and connect up into like say this road here. So we just use our basic road. We'll bump out four units. So the same thing off of this one. We'll go uh, eight units though. And then we'll just try and follow uh, this contour line a little bit. And then let's just get a nice clean connection. Like so. That's pretty good. Um, let's also turn the speed limit down on this road significantly and we'll do, turn up the speed limit on this one so that any through traffic will try to take this road, hopefully. Um, and then I also think I wanted to do that on the tunnel. 
Uh, no, it's okay. Alright, so we got that in place. Uh, let's look at some zoning now. So this one's pretty easy. We can just simply zone right through to about here, I think, without any issues. Could actually probably zone most of this without any issues. Get a house right there. Um, let's actually go into our zoning adjuster and I'll say prioritize newer roads. And I'm just going to do that to Robert Street here and then also this one. All right, and then this will allow us to be a bit more picky with our road selection here, or our housing selection. Okay, we should be good here. I'm just gonna take these trees off of this now while we're kind of developing and we'll put it back. All right, we do, have, we do still have some space over here. So why don't I take these trees out as well? Um, and then really quickly, let's actually just go into our adjusting tool here, our network multi-tool. And we'll just try to make the slope of this pretty even. Nice. All right, so let's take a quick peek again. Yeah, and then we have some pretty steep uh, uh, sloping up here. So what we can do is we can just add in some pedestrian paths. Let's just go with the basic city path. And let's turn our guidelines off. Just like that. And then I'll add in another one right here. Then should we kind of split the difference between these two and just go right up like that? It's gonna be kind of fun. Something like that. And we can connect up just like that maybe, but we'll, what I'll do is I'll just bring this forward a little bit so it's kind of like the same path connection. And then we'll continue this one just a little bit farther out into here. Just click home really quickly. Yeah, there we go. This is fun. All right, and then we can change the, uh, the trees on here as well to the live oak, which is kind of the, the tree of the build. It also fills in the space a lot more as well, I find. Alrighty, so now let's add in some more housing over in here. Um, actually, I don't think we'll get any houses right there. But this one's pretty easy to get houses into. Yeah, okay, so let's add in some fences. Go with the forestry fence. That's not the forestry fence. Here's the forestry fence. All right, so we're just gonna draw in a couple of these lots with some fencing. Probably should have done this one a little bit differently. Now I'm just focusing kind of on on this uh, for this particular neighborhood because I think it's gonna help the look a little bit more. Let's see if this will work. I don't think it will. I think if we just leave that though. It might uh, might work out. And then we'll get uh, these fences along here you know it's really nice to, to do for almost like every suburb but holy moly the the time it, and uh, the time it would take to actually do this for every single suburban development would be significant to say the least oh no We might be able to make that house a little bit bigger then. We try not to not connect this up. Kind of gives a semblance at least. Um, okay, over here we're good. Over here we haven't done fencing yet. All 
Alrighty, so let's just fix this house. Hopefully that'll be good. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just add these trees back in here. Make it seem a bit more of like a forestry, like a forest walk. I'm glad that we're filling up this space. So if we were to try to get another set of development up here, this is a pretty steep street. Although I think maybe what we could do is we could kind of get like a bit of a cul-de-sac from here. Up, I think that's probably your best bet. I think honestly, it's just straight up. Go 20 units and then what I'll do is I'll just lower this one down a little bit and then what we'll do is we'll go back down to our sloping tool we'll go from here down to here 5% that's pretty steep but um, I think it'll be fine for kind of the build that we're looking for alrighty and we'll just get a house right there Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. Um, all right, and then we'll uh, get a couple more houses along here as well. And we'll just go with these three by threes. I think that's probably the way to go. Don't mind if some of them are, are different. Yeah, I think, I think this is good. And then right on the end here, what we'll do is we'll just grab that fence again. Turn our guidelines off. And, uh, you know, just kind of give it semblance that the fencing goes goes on. But, uh, yeah, let's fill up the rest with these trees. And, you know, I think we'll, uh, we'll call it uh, here for this little build here. Ah, of course. Of course, I, you know, I almost got away with it today, but of course I forgot water. <laughs> right at the end of the video. All right, so hopefully this all comes in nicely and it'll help uh, kind of give a bit of a conclusion to this part of uh, Prairie Station. All righty. So really quickly, let's just do a little bit of a, a trick here. Grab the uh, cemetery with move it. We'll reset the object. And there we go. Brand new cemetery. All right. So uh, now that we've kind of done this, we have a couple of things to do. So I guess we didn't get to the farm today. So we'll, we'll start off with that tomorrow, um, especially now that we uh, uh, have even more industry demand. Um, and this will continue filling out. I'm recording the next one right after. But if we go to our bus lanes here, now we can actually do the school bus to the school we were looking for originally. I think before we do that though, we should remove the, or put the budget back down to, to 100. Um, see if that uh, gets us where we need to be. So yeah, there's 700 plus students. Go back to these buses here, to this bus route. So here we have the school bus. The school bus is going to, uh, the school bus is the dark yellow bus. So if I just drag the stop, what should happen is we'll be able to bring the school bus down through here. It'll take a turn and we'll stop it right out in front of the high school. And then I'll take a turn and go this way. Now, technically this is going to act like a normal bus. So maybe what we should do is actually bring it into here. Or even just on this part of the, the street. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. Um, so we have this bus stopping over here. Let's delete those stops. And Let's see, so we have a bit of a convergence over here. So maybe what we want to do is move these stops over a bit. 
so that they're a bit closer. Hmm. Or maybe because people will just take this to get back into town, what we can do is just add in a couple extra stops along the line here. Maybe we bring it uh, over into here so it connects up with these stops. Not the most efficient school bus line, but I think altogether it works out. All right, so I think that that works. We also have the pink bus, which now goes right into here. We could actually continue the pink bus, which runs from um, Brownsville Crossing. What we could do now is we could actually bring it even farther and in, in, like through the tunnel and connect into into here, which we haven't done any of these bus revisions yet. But I think that's a, a good kind of starting plan. So we already kind of link up with these buses here. So if we bring it right through, we could get this bus to share this stop. Let's see, we probably want it to turn right. And then, oh, whoops. So if we just kind of get it right over here. And then we link up with these buses and then it goes back into the tunnel. I think that's pretty good. And then the bus stops over here. I think we might want to move these buses a bit farther over so it kind of frees up um, the street a little bit more now. Yeah, I think this is fine because all these buses are stopping right around these, this house. And we're kind of taking a right out of this tunnel. So we're freeing up this corridor here along Sunset. Yeah, I think that works. So, you know, I think I think this is probably where we're going to end today's episode. So, um, you know, overall, I think we did a pretty good job at, at this. Traffic is definitely a concern, at least. But uh, what if we just do a bit more upgrades to the road networks through here? Another four lane kind of road right through here. Maybe another one. Bring this four lane all the way down actually maybe. Oh no! Should have ended the video. Should have ended the video. <laughs> That's fine. I'll, uh, I'll work on I'll just fix that up later. Um, okay, so maybe if we add these extra lanes in, this will help. I think right here, we might actually do better with like a, uh, a larger road even. Perhaps even one with like a median. And then the same thing right here, I think this might actually benefit with, um, you know, two left lanes. Just something like, uh, hmm. Yeah, you know what, I'll give it a think and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll kind of deal with it off camera. And I'll come back to it, but um, yeah, so let's take a look at this. This neighborhood really filled out, that's pretty nice. Let's just go back into these trees here. We'll just add in a few more right around these houses to really help fill it in and give it uh, that vibe we were looking for. But uh, yeah, I think that turned out really nicely. It really blends into the neighborhood as well, the, the surrounding neighborhood. We got the school buses coming right through here now too. It's great to see. All right, so let's just kind of end it. Oh, wrong button. Just kind of end it right here then. Um, yeah, I think this a good place as any all right well have a wonderful day folks talk to you on friday's video where we'll be building up the jackson farm and doing some more residential expansion so have a great day and peace out